And it's some 29 minutes after 7. So it's another Friday and as usual, I am talking relationships. This morning, I want to look at the life cycle of a relationship and get tips on how to tell when yours is on its last legs. Now, every relationship, of course, has its ups and downs. None is perfect, even those that seem so. Trust me there will be issues. So there will be problems you have to work out. Bailing out at the first sign of trouble is, of course, not a good idea. However, there comes a time when you might have to sit down with yourself and decide that there is no point in pursuing it any longer. And after that, sit down with your partners and share your conclusion. How do you know when to end that relationship? Well, we uh, went down earlier um, to get your views, and I just want to play back. Um, I want to play back for you to watch. You get out of a relationship maybe when you are get t- when you get tired of a partner. In a, in, in other in other way, maybe your partner is somebody who is not be faithful to you. Maybe you've caught her several times, and she keep on telling you lies that is not the truth but what you've seen or what you've caught about her is the truth but she keep on like telling lies but just because of the feelings and the love or i would say the love you have for her then you pardon her you forget about it but in a situation where constantly is coming again and again then you, you will be tired of her you will just be tired of her because you can't continue if you are a type that you are a decent you know in in this kind of relationship we have different type of relationship we have a kind of guy that maybe is rough and the girl is rough. They won't mind themselves. Sometimes you may, be, you may not be bored to each other. You understand? But if, if you are a kind of decent person that you want something good for yourself, you understand? You, you may be bored when the girl is not being faithful. And the same, thing, the same thing applies to the other side of it. When the guy cheats on me, yeah, I will get out of a relationship. And lies. I hate lies, so that one too, let me go. You know, a relationship is supposed to benefit both. You know, so if I enter into the relationship and I'm not becoming a better person, and she's not so becoming a better person, then it means that, you know, there's no need us to stay in the relationship. And secondly, I think it's very important that both partners are honest in the relationship. Once you cannot be honest with your partner, I think you shouldn't stay in a relationship. If I may add a third reason why you would have to back out of a relationship, it's uh, emotional abuse. You know, most times it's physical abuse that is so obvious. You know, but uh, emotional abuse occurs a lot. You know, and for that one, it's not easy to prove. You know, invalidation is another. You know, your partner talks you down anytime you raise an issue. You know, uh, begins to call you names, you knock, you do this. It means that the person is invalidating you. Even your emotions, the person denies it. You know, you say you are angry or angry over just this. You know, it, it kills you emotionally. And emotional pain is more dangerous than physical. I've never been in a relationship before, but then, um, should in case I be in one and I want to come out or. I feel it's not helping me and I want to come out of it. I just call it a quit, that's all. Many are the reasons that will make me walk out of a relationship. First is commitment from the side of the woman. Um, if I show commitment to you, the woman, and I don't see any kind of commitment in your side, I think these are uh, some of the things that will tell me that no, you are not really into the relationship. So I should just walk out gently, not um, in, in a very bad way, but walk out very gently from the relationship. Um, you, the woman, nowadays we guys, we look at a helpful woman, a comforting woman, a woman who is going to help us. We are in a new generation. And in this generation, if you, the woman, don't prove to me that, yes, you are in to help me as the man or as the guy who is looking up to you to marry you in future, God willing, then I don't think we can be in a relationship. Okay, very interesting views there. Um, people citing cheating, you know, lying and abuse emotional abuse and all sorts of things um these are some of the basis 
on which they would end the relationship. But let me get to my guest in studio. Samuel Che Beko is a counselor with ACT Foundation. Samuel, good morning to you. Good morning, Mama. Thank you for your time. Thank you, too. Um, you have a lot of experience um, talking to people and dealing with their issues. Yeah. Do you find that sometimes people are in, in, in relationships that they have no business at all being in? Yeah, we do, especially in our area of work. We uh, deal with a lot of abuse um, cases. Mm. Um, and usually, on a daily basis, in our office, people walk in, complain about their relationships, either in marriage or just dating, courtship, whatever relationship they find themselves in. And mm. sometimes you wonder why they are still in those relationships. Mm. But there are so many reasons why people continue to endure, let me use that word, in their relationship. Mm. For some, it's the love. 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 They hope for change. If there is a child, they, they believe that for the sake of their children, let me stay. For some people, they are in it for uh, just to avoid societal pressure. Mm. They, for some people, they fear that if they walk out of their relationship, their lives will end mm. because they depend on such people to survive. And for some people, they just want to keep it. They believe that they will be able to change their partners. For so, so for such reasons, they want to remain mm. in those relationships. So it's not our business to say, walk out or don't walk out. Mm. We will but take you through a process mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, you decide. Okay, but are these reasons, you know, good enough for anybody? Now you're here, so you're not dealing with any particular case. Are these good enough reasons for anybody to still continue a relationship, you know, f because of love, because we have a child, because... I think that you could change at some point. Well, let me say that it's not good for anybody to, at the word, it's endure a relationship. Rather, you should enjoy. How will and you know if you're enduring it? <laughs> the signs will be obvious. Now, you should ask yourself, what makes people go into the relationship in the first place? Mm. For love, for companionship, for security, for whatever reason they go into it so when they find that those things are no more being shown in the relationship then it's uh, like oh i should reconsider mm. my decision but for especially for the kind of cases that are reported to our officers mm -hmm. we find that people endure a number of abuse verbal emotional psychological abuse physical abuse sexual abuse mm. Again, we tell people... And they still stay in there. They still stay in there. Hoping that someday it would it get will better. End. So oh. they tell you that I just want the, uh, uh, the abuse to end, but not the relationship. Oh. But when you take such people through the effects mm -hmm. it's having on them, then they begin to realize that then I'm in danger. Mm. Because for some people, they are not aware. We usually would say that relationships should be built on trust. Mm hmm respect for one another on mutuality and equality mm. we are partners together in the relationship so when it gets to a point where i don't feel respected i feel that it's one person has control over me or is trying to uh, exert certain power over me or i don't feel we are in partnership but rather i'm, I'm beginning to feel like i'm a servant mm. to my spouse or my partner then it's time for you to reconsider the commitment mm. you made mm. so how do you know how do you know that you know i'm enduring this and it has a certain effect on me well, what do you tell them are the effects we tell them we have signs of a healthy relationship and signs of an abusive relationship you know for uh, a relationship to suffer first you should watch out for like somebody mentioned that when the people begin to lie mm. they tell you stories that you know that these stories are not what they want me to believe it's a clear sign that something is wrong mm. when you don't feel respected they don't appreciate you they abuse you they blame you for everything that happens or goes wrong in the home mm. you feel that these people are not also making me realize who i am they they want your you, you should see your life manifest in their life as in you find your worth mm -hmm. in the in theirs then it's a clear sign that the relationship is taking on a new turn, okay. and you should watch it. Mm. All right. So we put this question on Facebook, mm -hmm. and it's generating a number of responses. I just want to read a couple. Okay. Uh, Manuel says, when the going is good, I don't know what that means. When the going is good, it means that it's time to work out. Um, Ellie 
says when she cheats on me that's said cheating is a big deal bonty says when nothing seems to work out between you and your partner for a very long time matthew says when she goes in for another one to compare both okay adevu says when she doesn't even care to call you for a long time and throw insults at you for nothing's sake hmm. um see you uh, says when there is no trust gloria says when you try making it possible but to no avail mario says when nothing seemed to be um okay i guess maybe no- nothing seemed to make the person smile or there's nothing <laughs> to smile about habib says when everything seems not to work for you and your partner in the little and the little issue brings misunderstanding and unnecessary arguments Leona says, when there's no trust for love. Alexander says, when things begin to fall apart. And I'll take a final one from Mensa. When the one's sweet addressing turns sour, the call is not picked as soon as possible <laughs> as it is, it's used to. And then the, the pictures are destroyed. But the fact that you call someone and the person doesn't immediately pick up. And the fact that the relationships seem to be different i mean it used to be all nice from the beginning you don't expect that it will be like that forever do you well it depends on those two usually in responding or in counseling we say that we don't generalize some of these things Mm. so we look at each case or individual people and you you know you take them through assessment then you can tell Mm. what it is okay for somebody to say that i'm calling him or i'm calling her he she is not picking up and because of that, I find reason enough to say I'm ending. Mm. They should know why that has become an issue. So is it is it an, an you know like a personal choice? It's a Once personal choice. Once you at the feel end of the day. you feel okay, this is it. This is how it used to be. It is no more like it's this. No so more. I want to walk. You are well, free to. You <laughs> again. What we usually would say is that confront the issue. Mm. Confront the person. How do you do it? When we say confront, let the person know what his or her actions are, Mm. the effects or how it makes you feel. So I can tell you that when you don't pick my call, I feel you are neglecting me. Yeah, but when you when when I don't pick your call, it doesn't mean that. So does it mean that even if I'm going to the washroom, I should take the phone along because you will call me? That's why it's good for two people to talk. So all I'm saying is, mm -hmm. if you confront the person, the Mm -hmm. person comes up with um, very convincing reasons. Mm You know, mm-hmm. things are not the same. I've changed jobs. W- the schedule is not the same. It's busy, or perhaps I cannot pick phone calls, or you know, I can't always be available for us That's to do true. the things that we used to because things have changed and that kind of thing. Should any kind of reason be convincing enough? Well, Mavi, let me say that it's again. I believe in communication. When you change job, I know mm. you change job. I know the demands of your job requires that at certain times you can't pick calls. Mm. When I know, I can't make cases out of it. But when I'm not told in it and I'm not in the known, you just decided not to pick the calls. Mm. That's how I feel. That's how I interpret it to mean. But let me just mention that usually we would say that when the thing happens once, it's not reason enough to say I'm calling off their relationship. Okay. Um, we'd say some of these things goes through a cycle. It, it, it does, would that apply? I mean, you work with ACK Foundation, mm-hmm. so let me just ask you directly. Would the same apply to if you are abused once in a relationship? Of course. In fact... That's n- not, you know, because it's the first time. In fact, when somebody is able to abuse you once, either slap, insult... The little you put it down once, chances are that they, they are likely to do it again. Okay. So what do we tell? That's what I was going to talk about the cycle. Mm. It begins with a tension building. What we usually, in the common terms, we call Cold War. The tension building stage, we, we are not talking everything. It's cold. We You know, the things that used to excite us mm. is n- doesn't excite us anymore. But nothing has happened. You haven't insulted me. You haven't mm-hmm. beaten me. So I can't really tell what's wrong. Yeah. So the victim or the one who feels victimized feels as if he or she is walking on an eggshell. I just have to be careful. I just have to stay within my boundary. Mm. Else, 
Then from the tension building goes the explosion stage, mm. where the person actually comes out, if I want to insult you, I tell you in the face you are a fool. I don't want you anymore. They beat you, they slap you, whatever it is, or they, they just burst out to say, I don't want the relationship anymore for no reason. Mm. That's the explosion. So they've exploded. And soon after the explosion, they realize that they were wrong. Then it goes into the honeymoon or the apology stage. But if you tell me uh -huh. that you do not want me anymore, mm -hmm. there is no way I'll give you a second chance. Well, that's you. But some people that don't have that courage to say. Because it's a difficult thing to say. It is. You must have thought about sure. it. Sure. You know, that's why, like I, I said earlier, for all of this, we, it's, it's an individual thing. Mm. So you have that power, that courage to say, I won't give you a second chance. Mm, so like I said, that people me. stay I in mean, their relationship dumps, for different Who dumps reasons. me? <laughs> <laughs> so soon after the explosion, you go to the honeymoon stage. That's where they come and say, oh, honey, I'm sorry. You know, I've never done this before. You know, then their relationship like, you know, it comes back to normal. Okay. But watch out. But, okay. But what you're saying is, don't completely close the chapter. But watch out. Watch out. How do you watch out? I mean, <laughs> because when you're in a relationship mm -hmm. and you really want to enjoy it, my personal view, uh -huh. you have to let go. Okay. So it, how do you enjoy the relationship but you know still what? watch it's, out? It's, it's, it's difficult, like in this work we do, to just sit in the public domain and say when they hate you, work out. Mm. But we can safely say nobody deserves to endure or go through any kind of abuse. Mm either verbal, emotional, psychological. When it happens, you seek help or you reconsider the commitment. Mm. You know, when I sit there and I say when uh, it happens, work out as soon as the list and work out, you will see the number of people who say, yeah. oh, I heard it on TV that I should work out on my relationship. That's not the kind of mm. thing we want to. Yeah. Just that people should live in healthy relationships. Mm. But when the signs are clear, be advised. But how can you be sure that you're making the right decision, whether to work out or to still give the person a second or a third chance? That's what we say that. Look, when you stay, chances are that the abuse will, or the, the, the whatever pain you are going through is likely to repeat itself, even though we admit that people change. Mm. But oftentimes what we have seen is that when you don't confront the situation, when the people do not go through some kind of counseling, or when they are not, some people don't even know how their behavior makes you feel. For some people, they think it's only wrong when I, I say you were fool, or it's mm. only wrong when I, I beat you. But that's not it. But some people are not even, they don't, they don't even realize it. When they, a, a certain word they used, the effect it had on you. Mm. Some people don't realize it. That's why I thought with the initial thing we will say do is to confront the person. Okay. Let the person know that this is how I feel when you use such words. This is how I feel when you don't appreciate it. The last time I did my hair, so I, can, I didn't say that and say that your hair looks good on you. So you feel, oh, hmm. you know. As for this issue. <laughs> I we can <laughs> talk and talk and talk and talk. But the bottom line is that the individual going into the relationship knows why they entered into the relationship. Hmm. So, at any point when the relationship changes or turns sour, they have to know or, and also realize that, you know, something has changed. Mm. So, if, you know, one of the reasons or the main reason is because I need financial support and you are able to provide me that, the fact that you beat me on the side, should I overlook that fact? I, some people do, but you shouldn't. Mm. Because you can die. <laughs> as a result of the beating mm. you lose your self-worth you lose your dignity and it's not just money that makes us happy you know the fact that i don't even so i met somebody who says to me that for over seven years she's never been able to shake a man because the boyfriend doesn't like that wow so let alone to say go to the extent of hugging somebody mm. so she can only say good morning and that's all but that's not that's not her personal choice that's not her personal choice what happened was when their relationship started the man was um quote unquote providing everything so he had that power over mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so at a point, she didn't realize that. But at the time, she she got to know she was caught in the cycle of abuse. So today I'm happy. Tomorrow I'm sad. Mm -hmm. I don't. She didn't even know how to work out on the relationship. Well, we tried to help. Now, um, um, she's better because at at a point the relationship was ended. Okay, so it's good that you mentioned she didn't even know how to work out of the relationship. So we asked a few people out there how they think you know it should be if you want to work out of a relationship, and I just want to play that back to you. Okay. Um, so let's take a take a listen. We'll come back and then we'll see what you would prescribe to us. Firstly, is stop seeing her. Stop receiving her calls. Maybe often and often you call her before, then you reduce it by calling her once in a while. Maybe rather in a day you don't even call, bother to call her. So from there, if she's wise enough, she herself, although, you know, when you are doing something wrong, and you get to know it yourself that is wrong. So in a situation whereby this is beginning to happen, that she's no more receiving your phone calls the way you have been calling her to know, hey, where, uh, hello dear, where are you? This and like giving her some teasing, some kind of, you know, what ladies want. You stop saying such words to her, some sweet words that can pull up her ego. You know, understand? So you stop doing that. Then from there, you, you know, you are, then you yourself, you will be free in mind because you are not putting her in mind the way you have been doing. So those are the kind of ways you can, like, get yourself out of a relationship you don't want to be in. It. I'll just tell him I don't want to continue with him again. You know, I'll change my line so that he can call me again. Yeah. Well, I think it's a two-way thing. I would want to invite her, we we'll sit down. I mean, it's not a situation where I'm hurting her or she's hurting me. I think that you just need to have a meeting, maybe over some drink, you know. It's a cordial thing. And then you, you tell each other that, well, look, you are not growing, I'm not growing, we are not becoming better people, so there's no need you still stay in the relationship. And once she agrees and I agree, I think... If you can find somebody that can make your life better, I can also find somebody who can make my life better. I think that's... Okay, so um, these are very friendly, you know, things that we've heard. Um, it should be in a nice way. I mean, it doesn't mean you're enemies, so you want to do it in a cordial way, acceptable. Um, somebody was prescribing, cut down the number of calls. In some instances, don't call at all. Um, all these are good, but there are instances some um, that you just have to stop seeing the person. That's it. Well, I without explaining yourself. <laughs> yet for some people, yes, just stop seeing them. But I just want us to draw the line between uh, married couples mm. and dating relationships. Yeah. So w what we are actually doing today is, you know, just dating, dating relationship exactly. Okay. Yes, for so then thank you. But for some people, just stop seeing them. Mm. Stop picking calls. Stop. Just them. like that. Just like that. Is that fair? It's fair. If is it fair to, for me to beat you? No, I mean it's not. But if for any reason you want to take such a decision, especially mm -hmm. when everybody knows, mm -hmm. and I know that a lot of people, you know, would tell their friends that I'm in this relationship mm -hmm. and this is my boyfriend mm -hmm. and this is my girlfriend, that kind of thing. So if we're normal, it's just appropriate that you let me know. Well, you know, for how we are socialized as people at Ghanaian society mm. we are not socialized to be able to speak our minds as to say so oftentimes before somebody gathers that courage to say i don't want you probably they have gone through they have tried all the cool to make sure the relationship works mm. it didn't work so i've come to a point where i feel like i cannot take it anymore wow so i stopped seeing you i stopped calling i stopped picking those calls mm. so there are instances where you just stop seeing the person sure don't give any, any sure. explanation would you want to give us um instances. some of the yeah exactly when I mean, there is abuse when there's abuse please walk out just like that you, you don't have to sometimes you don't have to explain I'm, 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 I'm about dying as a result of the abuse. Mm. And you want me to come and beg to say, because of you beating me, so please let me go. No. Mm. And then usually when you give people the clue that you want to work out of the relationship, you are in danger. Oh, yeah. 
they will seize your properties they will, they will they will stalk you they will make sure that they destroy you even before you you decide to work out a mm -hmm. relationship sometimes i've seen i've handled cases where the lady told the guy i want to go the lady begged as it is honeymoon stage they came back together the guy was just setting the lady up for disaster mm -hmm. so just when the lady gave in the guy says i'm working out wow but just like that but again for some people they feel like oh for some reason i just it's not abuse i just feel like oh i can't take this uh, uh, relationship anymore i feel that from the way things are going there are certain behaviors or certain uh, attitudes that I'm not, I'm not too comfortable with mm -hmm. i can let you know okay that i can no longer continue when this behavior i keep saying this behavior when you continue showing this attitude i'll let you know mm. that when it doesn't stop i will work out okay so we look at all those instances it's not to say just work out on any relationship like that mm. you know so different scenarios calls for different actions sure okay so that's so, how mm. it should be okay so um i get it sometimes you you can share the news mm -hmm. but how do you share it i mean how do you share do you invite the person out on a date <laughs> you know my, my my colleague francis said i would you know treat you you know make you feel really good and then break the news to you okay. would that be would that be um, good enough <laughs> what we usually do it it's feedback uh, I said earlier that relationships are built on communication mm -hmm. and when we share good communication and we are friends it should be easy for me to point okay. out certain things to you again I also find that most people especially men do not know how to take or receive feedback from uh, <laughs> dating friends or mm -hmm. our, our fiancés our girlfriends whoever we want to call them and for most men, I find that they feel that giving them feedback means you are criticizing them. Mm. You are telling them that they don't know, but that's not okay. it. Okay. So usually giving feedback, we tell people, start on a positive note. It doesn't mean take them out, mm. but start on a positive note. Depending on the situation, start on the positive note. And I can just give you feedback and say, oh, uh, Mama Via, I like you so much. I like you for what you do. Only that I feel that if you change the way you talk to me in public, that will help. Mm. That's feedback. I've yeah. told you. Mm -hmm. Other than coming to tell you that, oh, you, you, uh, why do you always insult me? Sure. You know, I, it, it's, it's the same thing that I've said differently. In a nice way. Okay. All right. You know. Sam, thank yes. you so much for sharing thank your you thoughts too. with us here on the show. And here's what I want to say. Um, it's good to be friends with the people that you break up with, no matter what happens. It's just appropriate. You never know where you meet them someday. This has been my banner on a relationship Friday, speaking to Samuel Che who who works with the ACT Foundation. Francis is up next with AM Talk.